Being a member is very significant in that it allows myself the opportunity for networking and learning from my colleagues. We're really in the business of adding value to our members, and this was a great value-added proposition for us. There hasn't been a year that I haven't been a NOCA attendee, and every time um, I've gained something uh, from it. In 1977, the National Commission for Health Certifying Agencies was formed through a grant from the Department of Health and Human Services to develop quality standards and accreditation programs in the allied health fields. By 1989, the organization had broadened to include all professions and occupations. At that time, the organization became what we now know as the National Organization for Competency Assurance with its accreditation division, the National Commission for Certifying Agencies. Over the past 20 years, I've seen ICE, former, formerly NOCA, grow as an organization. Um, the topics that are provided um, for education have broadened, they've deepened. Um, the number of people attending the conference it continues to grow on an annual basis. Um, the number of types of organizations, not only healthcare, but um, finance and uh, exercise uh, science and, and that type of thing. In 2008, NOCA's board of directors recognized its broadening scope and the need to redefine the organization as a resource to credentialing professionals and programs. A new name was needed to position the organization for global growth and the expansion of its programs and services to an increasing base of members. As the Institute for Credentialing Excellence, the organization's robust research, education, and advocacy programs keep its members at the forefront of innovation and quality. By working closely with industry experts, ICE's research efforts dig deep into relevant issues, providing an objective case for establishing, expanding, and improving credentialing programs. ICE also works to identify the needs of credentialing professionals, helping them create valuable resources such as online workshops as well as the certification handbook and other publications. ICE has been involved in several very significant benchmarking studies and the two most recent. One is the practices and requirements of renewal programs and professional licensure and certification relates to really doing a very thorough analysis of what is out there, what is required for certification, recertification, and builds a sound foundation for any board to go forward to look at what they should do for renewal. ICE has continually brought credentialing professionals together through its annual educational conference, offering the best training and networking opportunities in the industry. I'm thinking right now about the ICE annual session and what it offers that I don't get anywhere else is the opportunity to learn um, baseline information um, and more extensive in-depth information depending on the topic. ICE has cultivated strong working relationships with public leaders and lawmakers. Through regular communication and advocacy at the state and federal levels, ICE has been able to stress the vital role that credentialing plays in protecting both consumers and professionals. Um, they're directly involved with providing oral testimony. Um, for example, when I was working with the Government, uh, government Affairs Committee, they worked to, um, to work with the crane operators and with the pharmacy technicians on um, providing testimony that, will, that help to incorporate um, their certification into legislation. As a key component of the Institute for Credentialing Excellence's service offering, accreditation has become increasingly recognized as the means to validate the quality of programs and professionals. In our association world, there are a couple of other competitors, and this makes us stand out from them. That again, they can call their members certified, but there's nothing there that backs that up. Here, you know, we have this accreditation from NCCA that, that backs us up, and that's very important. ICE has continually pushed for innovations and advancements in the credentialing industry while maintaining its core focus on the issues that matter most to members. By offering the services that current and new constituencies need, the organization has met and exceeded the expectations of its members and partners. This is the hallmark of an organization that is run by the professionals it serves. As I've been growing professionally, I've been able to have a, a, an organization that I've been able to go to if I have any questions, um, any questions about best, best practices um, or standards in credentialing. Um, it's always been able to, um, it, it's almost instant credibility for me um, as, um, as, a, as a credentialing professional to be able to have that kind of a resource and so that, that's what's been mostly valuable for me. As ICE continues to grow, it will no doubt find new industries to serve in new places around the world. 
As long as the value of credentialing remains at the heart of the organization's purpose, the spirit and vision that guided its formation will never be forgotten. It is very instrumental in being that external link and pulling all of us together, not only as individuals and organizations, but throughout the credentialing community.